Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. India has been heavily dependent on engines beat helicopters, fighter jets or other aircrafts. This is a billion dollar industry which has been never in focus by government of India. The amount of funds allocated for the indigenous engine development which is Kaveri engine was quite less when compared to what is being spent by engine giants such as G, Rolls-Royce and Safran to name a few. However, in last few years, the government has been aggressively pursuing to close this gap. At present, India is focusing in developing and manufacturing of four engines which will power the upcoming fighter jets, UCAV and helicopters of Indian Armed Forces. The first one is the Kaveri engine, which has been indigenously designed and developed by GTRE. The GTRE Kaveri engine has been able to achieve weight thrust of 70.4 kN and dry thrust of 46 kN. The core of this engine without afterburner section has been stable and various past issues related to its core has been fixed. It has met its dry thrust requirement of 46 kN. However, it is yet to be certified. GTRE has planned the performance and operability of Kaveri engine across the flight envelope in altitude test facility in 2022. The initial flight release that is IFR certification of this engine is planned to be completed by 2024. Once the dry Kaveri engine is certified, GTRE may begin the work on upgraded jet engine with a new afterburner section. Now Godrej is playing a key role in development of the dry Kaveri engine. On 17th April 2023, the GTRA engine parts manufacturing at Godridge and Boyce has been inaugurated by Dr. T.C. Thomas, who is Director General of Aeronautical Systems at DRDO. Godridge will be manufacturing all eight models of six dry cavalry engine. The first engine will be delivered by late 2024, and all six engines are slated to be delivered by August 2025. These engines will further be used for certification for its fly worthiness. Now talking about it, fighter jet engines, the immediate need of India is GF414 engine which will power LC Mark II and AMC Mark I fighter jets. On 22nd June 2023, G Aerospace has signed a memorandum of understanding with HL to produce fighter jet engines for the Indian Air Force. This was the first major milestone in engine development as G will transfer approximately 80% of jet engine technology by value to HL. This deal will close the gap of immediate requirement of Indian Air Force and fighter jets, but India is looking towards its futuristic requirement, that is AMC Mark II. Now, AMC Mark II will need a much powerful engine than G F414 to have super cruise ability without use of afterburner, which is the main feature of a fifth generation fighter jet. DRDO is looking to co-develop an engine which is having thrust of more than 110 kN in collaboration with foreign OEMs such as GE, Safran and Rolls-Royce. While GE has also committed to the engine development for AMC Mark II, Safran seems to be leading the race in this segment. Ahead of the PM Narendra Modi's visit to France, many reports have been published and they are still being published indicating French deal-winning offer for AMC Mark II engine. Report indicates that France is offering 100% TOT, intellectual property right, which is what exactly India is looking for its futuristic fighter jets. Safran has also offered to set up a center of excellence in gas turbine technology in India with full design and metallurgical precision software tools. Further, the French deal is free from US International Trade in Arms Regulation, that is ITAR. Besides fighter jet engine, India and France is collaborating for engine to be developed for upcoming medium lift helicopter IMRH. HL is developing 13 ton helicopter, which is called Indian Multi Role Helicopter or IMRH, which will be powered by new engine to be developed by Safran and HL. During Aero India 2023, Safran Helicopter Engines and HL has signed a work share agreement for the joint development of engine intended for IMRH program. This agreement follows the Memorandum of Understanding signed on 8th July 2022 and stipulates the sharing of activities within the joint venture where both parties have agreed on an equivalent repartition. In particular, 
HL will take part in design, development, and production of some of the core engine components, which is a breakthrough achievement in terms of expertise and know-how in the country. Both partners have also agreed on the condition for transfer of rights to HL for manufacturing of seven critical forging and casting raw parts for further enhancement of indigenous content in Shakti engine, which powers the existing Dhruv and LCH helicopters. The Financial Express has also reported that design and development work on the helicopter engine is set to start soon as PM Narendra Modi is visiting Paris in the month of July and IMRH is expected to be launched four years from now. During PM's visit to France, both nations are going to announce a number of areas of defense and technology where both countries would be collaborating. To summarize, this historic visit is expected to announce 26 Rafale M, three additional cavalry class submarines for Indian Navy, co-development of a more powerful engine for AMC Mark II and IMRH helicopters, and collaboration on construction of nuclear-powered submarines. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.